Hello, welcome down onto the Tech Desk, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at getting gyro controls on your Xbox. Uh, the reason for this is because I did a video review of these two. So these are the Armor X and the Armor X Pro. Um, I'll leave links about where you can go and see them. Um, and we'll go, well, I go into re just basically reviewing it, and I had a lot of comments around the gyro controls for this one. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at, I'm just going to go a little bit more into detail on the gyro controls, because gyro controls work for every console, no matter what you use, it just works off this rather than the system itself. So for, before we start though, we did look at both of them. This is the Armour X Pro and the Armour X. This is obviously the more expensive one. If you want gyro controls, you're gonna need this one, okay? Because if gyro controls don't work with this one. So we're gonna bin this one. And we're gonna be focusing on this. This is the Armour X Pro, which is this one on here. Um, and I'm not gonna go into too much details about how you set it up, uh, but for every system or you use it for Xbox, Switch, PC, whatever you need, you're gonna to need to use this dongle that I've got plugged into my Series X, which I've got over here. So you plug that in uh, and then you plug this in um, and then it, then it syncs up really, really quickly if you want to go and look, go look at the review for more details on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly get the um, Xbox set up uh, onto here so we can get like a kind of like a live feed up, up there. So just give us a second. Right, so we've got the controller connected to the Series X via the uh, dongle. So that's all nicely connected. Um, and then we're going to fire up Halo. So let's quickly go into Halo and just make sure there's no one around. No, there isn't. Okay, we've got a couple of minutes. As you can see, no gyro whatsoever there. If you spin this one over, you'll see two things. You'll see the LEDs up here. There's um, two orange LEDs, and then this button here, which is kind of like a symbol for the gyro. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press that, and if you watch the screen. So if I press this one, the right-hand LED will go purple, and then watch the screen. There you go, it flicks. Did you see it kind of flicker? That's because I've got gyro activated. Spin this over. There we have, there we have the gyro activated on Halo. Um, I've been mucking about the settings. This isn't default, but it kind of, it's, it's about right for the default, but I'll, I'll go through some more settings in a second. It's currently on the right stick. So it basically performs the function of the right stick. If you hold down this button and click the left stick, it will do the functions of the left stick. So hold it down and click left. You can see that it does the functions of the, of the left stick. Okay, so you can do this if you want to for certain games. Obviously, that doesn't work for Halo very well. Okay, so I want to flick that back to the right stick. All you're going to do is hold down that gyro again, click the right stick, and then it's back to uh, gyro on the right stick. Okay, that's not all with the gyro. There's more. So not only that, there is an accompanying app for it as well, which I talked about in the review as well, but we're just going to talk about a specific part of this app. So all you go and it goes, download the uh, Big Big One Elite app and then click it. And then when you when you present it, it'll be presented with things um, that they can connect with the app with the rainbow pad and the Armor X Pro, which is the one we've got. So we click on the Armor X Pro. It will search for this. It takes literally seconds and it's connected to this. And once you're in the app, the first thing to do is hit this plus for the all configs and then this will take you to the configuration for the motion. At the top you have the sensor sensitivity and then you have sensor horizontal vertical ratio. Okay, so if I do an example, if I whack this up to 100, you'll see how twitchy it is on screen, how sensitive it is. And then if I whack it down to zero, how much less sensitive it is. And then with the sensor horizontal vertical ratio, if you whack that right up, again, you'll see how twitchy it is and then all the way down, it's like hardly anything. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna open this app, you're gonna get this and you're gonna work out which one is best for you. So I think I was around, oh, I can't remember, 41.2, I think I had it on. Okay, so I had it nice and responsive and snappy. And next up we have down underneath that, we have the sensor curve, which is basically how quickly it reacts to there change that and the dead zone compensation so kind of like if you have loads more dead zone it won't start reacting until you move a lot or kind of like move it all the way down and it would be pretty much instant with no dead zone underneath and then underneath that you have the motion control switch to play so you can have it for the right stick and we said with the left stick so we said with the, with the hardware button and pressing that and clicking the left stick you can swap that in the app if you want to we're saying for most uh, fps games you're going to be leaving it on the right stick and the axis reverse as well so if you wanted to do like that if you wanted to swap them both round okay so you can have it on the reverse if you want to let's quickly muck about with this see if we can get some okay, gameplay so you can see it's really nice for me if you can dial in your settings right i mean i've played about with the app now i'm gonna have to spend some time dialing in the settings these aren't quite what i normally have 
but if you can get them, I mean, look how nice and snappy that is. I mean, I've been mucking about with the settings, but that feels pretty good to me. I'll probably have higher on the vertical there because uh, it doesn't seem to be going up as high as I'd like, and I don't know if I could be putting my controller way up there. Okay, you know, it's not just Halo as well, so if we quickly whip over to um, Overwatch 2 as well, it works for every game. Basically, just simulates it. It's not on a per game basis, it's on the hardware basis. Right, so in the practice range, uh, doesn't matter who it will be, it will be Anna. Again, there you go. Nice. Okay, and as I said, you won't be changing it in the game. What you'll be doing is you'll be changing it in the, the app. So if you do get the armor thing, you're going to need the app to, 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 to edit all. But I'm saying, when it was default, it wasn't too bad at all. When I had it on default and I hadn't changed anything in the app, I didn't find it too bad at all. It's up to you. Okay, so that's it really. That's it. That's a brief run through on how you use the Armour X Pro to use Gyro for the Xbox. Go and have a look at this. I'll leave links down below where you can get hold of this. With the Gyro, it works for any console or PC that you're going to be plugging this in because you need to, to connect this to the dongle. I hope that's helped. Do stick a thumbs up. Do, just do subscribe to the other videos. And until the next video, bye-bye.